Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang derivative of exponential function. Let's proceed with the given formulas. Number 1, derivative of a to the x with respect to x is equal to a raised to x ln a. And we have the natural exponential function derivative of e to the x with respect to x is equal to e to the x. So bakit nawala yung ln a natin dito? Kasi nga, ang base nito ay the natural number e. So ln e is equal to 1. Okay? So, gamitan naman natin siya ng chain rule. So, derivative of a raised to u with respect to x is equal to a raised to u ln a times du over dx. But, ang nadagdag lang sa kanya ay itong derivative ng exponent niya because u is a function of x. Next, we have d over dx of e raised to u is equal to e raised to u times du over dx. Again, kukunin natin ang derivative ng exponent niya. Okay? So, that is for chain rule na ang nadagdag lamang ay yung times du over dx. Let's have a quick example. Number 1, y is equal to 3 raised to x. y prime is equal to using the formula. So, 3 raised to x, ito yung a raised to x dito. And then, ln a is ln 3. Okay? Ganun na siya kaagad. Next, if we have y is equal to 3 to the negative x, we can change this as y is equal to 1 third raised to x. And then we have y prime is equal to 1 third raised to x ln 1 third. Pwede ito na yung sagot or pwede rin gawing ln 1 third is equal to ln 1 minus ln 3. So ln 1 is equal to 0 kaya magiging negative ln 3. Kaya ang magiging final answer natin dito ay y prime is equal to negative ln 3 times 1 third raised to x. At pwede rin natin itong gamitan ng chain rule. Next, y is equal to 2 raised to 3x. So using this formula, we have y prime is equal to 2 raised to 3x ln 2 times derivative nitong 3x, yung exponent niya, which is 3. And then we have 3 ln 2, i-arrange na lang siya. 3 ln 2 times 2 raised to 3x. Yun na agad yung sagot. Next, we have y is equal to e raised to x squared minus 1. We have y prime is equal to e raised to x squared minus 1 times derivative nung x squared minus 1. Kaya meron tayong 2x dito. Then, we have 2x e raised to x squared minus 1. Uh, yun na agad ang sagot. Now, paano natin gagamitan itong example natin na ito ng chain rule? So, we have y is equal to 3 raised to negative x. Then, we have y prime is equal to 3 raised to negative x ln 3 times negative 1. Kasi ang derivative ng negative x ay negative 1. So, bakit tayo rito walang negative 1? Kasi na-change na natin siya into other form na positive na yung exponent. Then, we have negative ln 3 times 3 to the negative x. So, mapapansin nyo magkaiba yung sagot. Pwede nyo i-change yung 3 to the negative x as 1 third raised to x. Or ito, pwede nyo i-change into 3 raised to negative x. Either way, pareho lang sila ng sagot. Let us solve the following examples using the formula earlier. We have y is equal to e raised to 5x squared plus 3x minus 1. So, we have y prime is equal to e raised to 5x squared plus 3x minus 1. Ito yung e raised to u times du over dx. Chain rule. Ita times natin sa derivative nitong exponent. And the derivative of the exponent is 10x derivative nito plus 3. Negative 1, 0 na ang derivative niya. So we have y prime is equal to, i-arrange na lang natin, 10x plus 3 e raised to 5x squared plus 3x minus 1. Ito na agad ang sagot. Okay? Next, example number 2. y is equal to 2 raised to x cubed minus 7x plus 6. So, using the formula d over dx of a raised to u is equal to a raised to u ln a times du over dx. So, we have y prime is equal to 2 raised to x cubed minus 7x plus 6 ln 2. 2 times derivative ng exponent, which is 3x squared minus 7. Okay? And then, i-arrange na lang natin siya. So, y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 7 ln 2 times 2 raised to x cubed minus 7x plus 6. Okay? Ito na ang ating final answer. Let's have the next examples. Number 3. 
y is equal to e raised to 2x times 2 raised to x square. So dahil naka-express siya as a product of two functions, gagamit tayo ng product rule. So let u is equal to e raised to 2x and let v is equal to 2 raised to x square. Then du over dx is equal to e raised to 2x times 2, ito yung derivative ng exponent. Then we have 2 e raised to 2x. Then dv over dx is equal to 2 raised to x square ln 2 times 2x derivative ng exponent na x square. Then we have 2x ln 2 times 2 raised to x square. Then using the product rule, we have u dv over dx plus v du over dx is equal to u, we have e raised to 2x, pinalit natin, times dv, okay, ito yon plus uh, v, 2 raised to x square, and then du over dx is uh, 2e raised to 2x. And then, kunin natin ang common factors nila. Meron tayong common factors na 2 raised to x square, ito yon We have e raised to 2x, ito yon and then 2, ito yon Okay, and then i-divide natin ang bawat terms. So, e raised to 2x, divide e raised to 2x, cancel siya. Next, 2 raised to x square, cancel na rin. Okay, and then, yung 2, cancel na rin. Okay, ang natira ay x, ln, 2. Isang factors na ito ay kagaya nito, kaya 1 na lamang ang matitira. The final answer, y prime is equal to 2, e raised to 2x, times 2 raised to x square, times the quantity x, ln, 2 plus 1. Okay, next example number 4, y is equal to 4 raised to 5x minus 3. Using the formula y prime is equal to 4 raised to square root of 5x minus 3, ln 4 times derivative ng exponent na 5, square root of 5x minus 3. So, hiniwalay ko muna siyang isolve. So, d over dx of square root of 5x minus 3 is equal to using the derivative of square root function 1 over 2 square root of 5x minus 3 times derivative nitong 5x minus 3 which is 5. So, we have 5 over 2 square root of 5x minus 3. And then, isubstitute lang natin siya rito sa una. So, y prime is equal to ln 4 times 4 raised to square root of 5x minus 3, times 5 over 2 square root of 5x minus 3. And then, itong ln4 ay na-change ko into exponential form kasi may 2 tayo sa denominator. Pwede natin siyang makancel. Paano? So, y prime is equal to 5 ln2 square times 4 square root of 5x minus 3 over 2 square root of 5x minus 3. And then, ln2 square is equal to 2 ln2. Okay, nilabas natin siya. Ito pa rin yung 5. Ito pa rin yung 4 raised to square root of 5x minus 3 over 2 square root of 5x minus 3. Okay, and then cancel na natin itong 2. Okay, so magiging y prime is equal to 5 ln 2 times 4 raised to square root of 5x minus 3 over square root of 5x minus 3. And that is the final answer.